Hi, welcome to this PEC 21 presentation. Uh, my topic today is about the reduction of harmonics using active power filter in electric power system. My name is Emmanuel Mudeham. Uh, the objective of uh, this study, uh, the objective of this work, uh, first is to mitigate harmonics in a power system. Second, choosing the harmonic mitigation devices. And then uh, after choosing harmonic mitigation devices and incorporate in a system, uh, the system efficiency will be uh, increased. Then uh, after this, we just verify the system by simulation using uh, MATLAB simulating. So I start by introduction, then uh, basic principles and background information, system design, simulation and research analysis, and finally we conclude and present the future scopes. Some types of loads uh, draw no sinus sinusoidal current from uh, the main delay regulating uh, uh, the power quality by causing uh, harmonics uh, distortion. The harmonic currents produced by nonlinear loads can interact adversely with a wide range of uh, power system components. These include mostly capacitors, transformers, and motors, and this can cause additional losses, overheating, overloading and interferences. So harmonic distortion in power system uh, can be uh, surpassed or can be uh, mitigated using two approaches, namely uh, passive or active powering. So uh, to show how harmonics in a power system can be uh, reduced or mitigated. Uh, this is a diagram to design uh, the system. So in this system, an active power filter is implemented and this is implemented with a three-phase pass with modulation voltage source inverter operating at fixed switching frequency. So the figure here shows uh, how the system works. Again, to complete the system design, here is the uh, flow chart, how uh, the component works. So if you have time, we can just have a look at the diagram shown. The power source uh, was designed as a three single phase to 20 volt, 50 hertz voltage source connected together in Y connection and it is balanced configuration with neutral. The loads which are simulated are of, are of two nonlinear sets of loads where first of one is a, a balance set containing one three-phase uncontrolled diode rectifier supplying a resistor inductor rod. Uh, the second rod is an balance set containing uh, three uncontrolled diodes rectifiers uh, for each phase supplying also a resistor uh, inductor load for phase A and the uh, resistor capacitor load for phase B and resistor load for phase C. The first balance load is connected from the start of the simulation while the second unbalance is connected uh, from the 0 0.6 second using three-phase breaker. 
Here shown the parameters used to simulate the system. So we have a no linear balanced load parameter and uh, the parameter of uh, the voltage source. Uh, so we have uh, resistance, you have inductor, and uh, for no linear and balanced load, we have also the same component, and we can see inverter voltage and um, inverter capacitors. Uh, we have, uh, for example, system frequency, which is uh, 50. We have filter side inductance, 1 millihertz. Filter side capacitor, 1 microfarad. Load side communication inductance is there, the value. So load side resistance is there. So all those uh, are the value used in the simulation. Then here shown uh, the simulation results, uh, now the simulation model. So uh, resist, uh, an inductor capacitor filter uh, has been uh, included to eliminate the high frequency components at the output of the inverter. This set is connected to the power system by means of three single phase transformers uh, with a turn ratio of one by one. So um, you can have a look at this uh, uh, simulation model. We have the source, we have three phase measurement. So we have uh, inductor capacitor filter, and then we have a universal bridge, and then we can just measure uh, the voltage and current waveform by using a scope. As here, it is uh, named the scope number three. So as a result, you can see that before introducing, uh, before introducing uh, the active power filter, we have uh, a distorted current waveform for each phase, phase A, phase B, and phase C, and also if we introduce the active power filter then you can see at the right side the distorted waveform has changed into a complete sinusoidal uh, waveform and all phase are completely filtered and the harmonics are eliminated. The frequency spectrum are analyzed before and after uh, introducing active power filter. So as we can see at the upside figure, the total harmonic distortion is uh, about 21.56%, while at the bottom, uh, the total harmonic distortion is 1.4%. We can see that uh, the filters has significantly reduced uh, the harmonics and it is shown on the two figures here. So as a discussion, uh, we can uh, see the harmonics order. Here we have third harmonic, fifth harmonic, seventh harmonic, ninth, eleventh, and thirteenth. So before compensation, uh, the third harmonics was about 0 0.05. And after compensation using 
shent passive filter and a shent active filter it dropped to zero however when we use uh, a compensation using shent passive filter only uh, uh, shent passive filter with a series active filter uh, the harmonics reduce it to 0 0.059 so we still have harmonics when we use uh, shunt and series however if we use shunt shunt so the harmonics reduce uh, significantly for example when we consider the 13th uh, harmonic it has been reduced from 2.63 uh, to 0 0.01 for shent passive filter and shent active filter while it reduced to 0 0.05 after compensation using shent passive filter and uh, series active filter however all uh, compensation method shown uh, a significant improvement in the mitigation of harmonic uh, distortion. Now, as conclusion, harmonic distortion is a main cause of power quality degradation. So, for elimination of harmonics, active filters uh, can be used. Now, because there are some disadvantages of passive filter, the active filter is used to improve the compensation characteristics of passive filter, as shown in the uh, table. By using active power filter, the total harmonic distortion of the source current is reduced from 19.5% to zero then this meet uh, the limit of the harmonic standard we are uh, proposed by IEEE standards 519-1992. Uh, so thank you for your attention. If you have question, please don't hesitate to ask.